knowledge and their expertise to help us get this right. And so you heard from Ms. Kate Tomper that there's an Illinois Electric Vehicle Advisory Council, one of those key members of certainly Argonne National Lab. And we're going to hear next from Mike Duba, and he is with the lab, and they tell me he is the lead PI for vehicle systems. And so he's going to talk to you about how Argonne is involved with electric vehicle deployment. Let's welcome Mike. As you heard, I'm a, I'm a research engineer from Argonne National Laboratory, and for those of you who might not know Argonne, it's a, it's a national laboratory located in the southwest suburbs of Chicago. We're actually the first national laboratory. We um, grew out of the Manhattan Project to, to develop uh, peaceful applications of nuclear energy. However, since that time, we've expanded to address many important energy and transportation concerns facing the nation. And since that time, through the years, people would ask, because um, we've been working on the technology for many decades, people would ask, well, when are we going to have electric cars? When are we going to have electric vehicles? And they were kind of smart to ask, when are we going to get this done? Because getting here has taken teams of people from many different backgrounds. And I think that the successes we've had so far could only have come through the coordination and partnerships between government and private industry. At Argonne, uh, uh, from cutting edge laboratory R&D to applied work and standards development, um, Argonne and Department of Energy have been working hard in this technology for many decades. Let me give you a few examples that I'm most familiar with. Uh, for example, the, the batteries in the uh, Chevy Volt, actually uh, some of the, the technology in the battery to get high energy density um, came out of inventions at Argonne National Lab. In fact, the future batteries that they're working on now are actually even increasing that uh, energy capacity to like record levels. So um, there'll be some future technology coming out of the, uh, the inventions from the battery group. Um, I was also had the pleasure of uh, chairing a, a team of experts to uh, develop the test procedures for plug-in electric hybrids. These are very different vehicles, two energy sources, and uh, how to test them was, uh, was quite a challenge. And uh, we did that, uh, finished that up about a couple years ago. Um, there's also another team at Argonne working on plug-in standards, uh, literally like how the plug looks like, but also to how it communicates the grid, how your vehicle can safely charge and communicate with the rest of the network. Some of the things that are, you know, the technology in the blink charger uh, that you'll see later. Um, those are a team of people working on those standards. Um, Ar Argonne also supports the uh, Department of Energy's Clean Cities program, which uh, helps uh, the, the rollout of uh, the plug-in electric vehicles with data and, and support for, for the infrastructure. And uh, I'd like to say that, you know, Argonne is very much in support of the EV project in Illinois and, uh, and see it as one of the many initiatives that will help us reach the goal set by President Obama to have one million electric vehicles on the road by 2015, so I hope we'll get there. Thank you very much. <laughs> 